Okay, you can see that I have now got my compressed images. Just used Microsoft Office and resized and compressed. You can see now I have six little images. There they are down the side here, and then the full size ones. And again, as I hover over them, you can see the statistics. View into the large icons, and you can see 101 by 76, all nicely the same size, and then my bigger images. Of course, I still need to make a second lot of images that will display on each page, but this is a good starting point. We can now start on our HTML to HTML, and at least create our index page with our thumbnails on. So I'll just minimize that so I can go back and refer to it at any time. And what I'll do next is open up Notepad++ over there, open the text editor, just close some of these files, we don't need them. And close, and we can start with a new file. So we just start putting in the tags, it's very, very easy. Zoom in there so you can see as I type. We should all be able to do this without even thinking nowadays. Start with the top, HTML, head, title, basic tags there and then of course my last one whoops last one as HTML now this is going to be my index page so what I need to do is I need to save it as HTML so very very simply we go up to file choose save as of course go down here now I'm going to save it in my photo gallery folder which is here so move to that so we've got my images one here down the bottom here, remember, we need to tell it that it's a HTML file. So hypertext markup language. And up here, all I'm going to do is just type in index.html and click save. And you can go back and have a look. Now we've got the pretty colors, as you would expect. So now all we need to do is fill in the gaps in the middle. So we can do things like putting in a header so type in here h1 so my photo gallery and then we can define our table maybe just put a little bit of um, text just to explain what it is here are some photos of our house being built HP and then our table so start table table row table data and we're going to put our images in here so we use the image tag so image source equals and it's in a folder called images and we can get that back up and have a look so it's images and this is the file name of it so i'm just going to cheat here i'm just going to open that up down here onto rename go up to here and I'll just highlight the whole thing and just go control copy whoops copy just so I get the right name saves me remembering just minimize that 
go back to our pretty page and I can just paste that in so control V of course you can just write them down might be just as easy who knows and my folder was called capital I M A G E S so image 0419 nail dot jpg and close my table data so that's the first cell we might that make this three columns and two rows so we'll put another cell here IMG whoops IMG source equals images IMG underscore let's find out what this next one's called go down here to my folder zero four three one T nail zero four three one so minimize that back down to there and I've forgotten already what it was zero four three one I think it was T now dot jpg that's why I normally copy and paste them Oops, I left a full stop out of that one there so I just put that back in Quote. TD and let's have a look I'll do a third one I will check the names of those images in a sec IMG SRC equals images slash IMG underscore zero whoops zero ah, zero and again down here, got my folder there so I can check the names. So 0431 was right. Uh, next one is 0451. So minimize it. 040451tnail.jpg. Quote, save. Slash TD. We might just leave it there just to see if we can see what it looks like. See if I've got anything right or wrong in it. So I'll just finish the table row. Finish the table. So at the moment, I did say finish that table. So I'll just go with that put a slash in front. Um, at the moment, it's actually a table with one row and three cells within that row, each one containing a thumbnail image. So I'll just go up here and I'm going to save it. And go over here, run, launch in IE, and I'll just zoom out there so you can actually see what it looks like. There it is. Close that, we don't need that. And there is my heading, my little paragraph, and my three images. I'll just close that, and then we can continue on to the next thing and complete. The rest of the table so what we need now is let's go back one more oops we we'll do it underneath here because we need a second table row so table row and pretty much exactly what we did before of course what you can do is go like this just highlight it copy control v paste to cheat a tiny bit Let's change right so now all I need to do is just find out the numbers of my next three images and change that little bit of it so if we go back down the bottom here let's do them one at a time we 0451 was the next one so 0453 0 The next one up four five three four five two four five two four five two 
and the last one well, we can have a look four five two four five four four five four four five four four five four I think that should be right so I'm just going to save it just in here you can see I've just saved it just zoom in so you can actually see 